Tatsuki furrows her eyebrows at me. I quickly start reading as to avoid another scolding. Still. Does this have, like, an overarching plot of some sort? Of course it does, dummy. What do you think I have? I don't have good taste? I have standards, you know. I have no standards! Hey, I never said I didn't think you had good taste. It's just... Nothing has really happened yet. It's just one off side story so far. Well, that's just to help you get to know the characters. Like the chapter where they're at the shopping mall. It gives you a better idea of what each girl like and don't like. There's an overarching plot, but the first volume is more like an introduction to the characters. Like Steven Universe. I've read the series, the entire series, so I know what happens. Alright, I guess I'll take your word for it. You sure do like the series, don't you? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I can see why, it does have a lot of baking in it. It does, yeah. Coincidence? I think so! D don't get the wrong idea, I didn't start begging just because of this manga. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I believe you. Not. Well, I guess that at least explains Natsuki's interest in baking. She is really good at it, though. So it's not like it's a bad thing. We continue reading for a while before I reach the end of the novel. As I close the book, Natsuki snatches it from my hands and heads for the closet. She places the novel in its right rightful spot and digs around for the second volume. So, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did actually. It's a bit slow right now, but if what you say is true, it'll, it'll start getting good in the second volume. Speaking of which... Natsuki proudly holds up the second volume. Let's get started! Wait, are it? Okay, everyone! It's time to share poems! I, I feel bonding, so I'm gonna step in! If that isn't good timing, I don't know what is. Uh, seriously? We were just about to start a second one. Well, you can always read it tomorrow, can't you? <laughs> Fine. Natsuki defeated. Puts her manga back in the closet and retrieves her poem. I grabbed mine from my bag as well. By the way, you did remember to write a poem, right? Don't worry, I'm not that much of a slacker. I've got it right here in my bag. I rifle through some stray papers to pull out the page that I wrote my poem on. While I can't help but feel a little nervous, I have to admit that I, I'm excited now. Talking to these girls has really calmed my nerves and now I'm just eager to share my poem. After all, judging by each girl's personality, I doubt that anyone would say anything nasty about it. Well, Nasuki... I don't know if she'll unduly... she'll be unduly harsh, though. She just seems like the type of person who enjoys ribbing on her friends. Either way, I hope they realize that I put hard work into it. I figured that it'd only be fair to repay their warm welcome by showing effort in club activities. Now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Siori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Siori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral, spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a neat black composition book. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. He's going to put all of us to shame. Asuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. Whom should I show my poem to first? Well, Sayori was really excited, so I'll show it to Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. You said this was your first poem, right? Yeah, uh, why? It impressed me! 
Especially for your first poem. Maybe this really is the place for you, hey? <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that good. I mean, it's not like I'm used to writing poems or anything. But thanks, I guess. Don't be so hard on yourself, Milo. Everyone ha- Everyone has to start from somewhere. You're already off to a good start. Anyway, I guess I'll show you mine now. Don't expect too much though, I'm not very good at this. Only one way to find out. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Well, what'd you think? I hesitate as I answer. It's not that it was a bad poem. In fact, it was great. I am just really inexperienced with poetry, especially feedback. It's really you. What's that supposed to mean? As in, the poem just really reminds me of you. It made me feel really good inside. Really? Yeah, I had no idea what to expect, as this is my first time reading your poetry. But the way this was written, I don't know, it feels really wholesome and cheery. Like you are. I also really like the, la the last line. I trust you of all people to include breakfast in your poems, huh? Hey, I was eating while I wrote- Siri stops speaking immediately as if she's accidentally let something slip. Oh, so you wrote this, po this the poem this morning? Uh, no. No, well maybe. I forgot to write it last night. Well, at least we know where your inspiration comes from. Eggs and toast! Well, I suppose it sounds silly, but it works. Then it isn't silly. Either way, thank you for showing me your poem, Sayori. It was really good. I'm happy you think so. Anyways, next time I won't forget. Tomorrow's poem will be even better. I hope you do that. stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, is everything okay? Oh, goodness, sorry. I know what I want to convey, but I need to write, find the right words. I understand, take your time. Okay, I think I know what I want to say. Do you have any prior writing experience? To be honest, not really. Is that obvious? Um, I don't mean to be rude, but I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so is that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. Yuri seems to be incredibly introverted. It must take her a long time to warm up to new people. Don't worry about it, we'll all start somewhere, right? What are you saying? Right, um... I've just noticed a few qualities consistent with new writers that show up, show up in your poem. Perhaps what stands out the most is that you've tried really hard to make the structure of this poem your own. And that's okay, but if this is the first time you've written, it might be prudent to consider more traditional structures. 
triplets, sonnets, haiku, and the like. If you're not confident in your writing style, it'll show in your piece. It's like Yuri's a totally different person once she gets going. He sounds in she says incredibly confident and stands to speak you cold. Again, that's not your fault. I think that once you've studied poetic structures and techniques a little more, you'll be able to put together a truly wonderful composition. I appreciate the feedback, Yuri. It sounds like you're well versed in this sort of thing. Would it be okay if I took a look at what you've written? Oh goodness, of course. Please let me know what you think. I'd be thrilled. I'd be thrilled to explain my process. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Tumble. Hail falls down like discarded dust of overused emotions, dragging down blankets made of want. Slender string, slender string pierces my eyelids, barely painful, and pulls them shut. Even so heavy, as is ever, ever so heavy, ever so heavy. I think I've misplaced something. Is there a piece missing? You need all the pieces to fix something. Please don't look for it. There are more important things for me to do today. I'm sorry if my writing's a bit illegible. Once my pen touches the page, I just want to get my thoughts down. It's fine, Yuri. I was able to read it just fine. I wasn't thinking that at all. Uh, are you sure? It seemed to take you a while to read it. Eh, I, well, I guess I don't see cursive often. But it's really nice when you- when I do... Wait. But it's really nice when I do, your writing's actually quite pretty. Is that so? I'm glad you think so. It made your poems stand out even more as well. It's as though your handwriting fits your word choice, or vice versa. It wasn't too short, was it? I'm used to writing longer pieces, but since this is the first time we're sharing, I thought it would be easier to share. That makes sense. Do you mind telling me what it's about, though? I'm not sure I understand. Sorry, I didn't mean to write something confusing. Oh, it's not that. I just want to make sure I'm reading it properly. I see. I suppose from... Cursory glance, it might not be obvious. But part of what makes poetry magical is how you can conjure up a vivid image in, with your words. Well, on the surface, it might seem a bit out there. If you look a little deeper, you might be able to find a deeper meaning hidden amongst the lines, compounded by the metaphors used. For example, the words and images in this poem aren't meant to be taken at face value. In actuality, it's supposed to represent the last remnants of something lost in the past, and a sense of plaintive longing that comes from it. Huh, that's pretty impressive when you put it that way. Uh oh, I wouldn't go that far. But thanks for the compliment. Hopefully during your time here, your understanding of poetry will grow, and these things will come to you naturally. I'll do my best. Thank you for sharing with me, Nat Red. You're not Natsuki, you're Yuri. Well, of course, even though you fucking confusingly someone else somehow. We're completely different people. I hate you. Anyway. <laughs>